Hello, my name is Katherine Munson and today we're going to talk about polygons. I can identify a polygon by name with 10 or fewer sides. But let's first talk about what is a polygon. Compare and contrast the two groups below. In order to be a polygon, what properties does a shape need to have? Hopefully you notice that a polygon is a closed plane geometric figure composed of at least three line segments that do not cross. None of the line segments are curved. Why is this crazy shape a polygon? It's a closed plane figure. There are no openings. At least three line segments. The line segments do not cross and the line segments are straight and not curved. Let's classify the shapes below as polygons or non-polygons by dragging them to the correct glass. I'm going to start with this shape. Does it have at least three sides? Yes, I see four. Are the sides straight and not curved? Yes. Do any of the lines intersect? No. What else do we need to check? We checked the, there are at least three sides. None of them are curved. None of them intersect. Oh, and it's a closed shape, no opening. So yes, this is a polygon. Let's look at this shape. I see at least three sides. I see that it's closed, there are no openings. Uh-oh, it's got curves though, and the lines have to be straight. So this is not a polygon. Let's look at this shape. It has at least three sides, I see four. The lines are straight, they don't intersect, and it's a closed figure, so this is a polygon. Let's look at this shape. It's closed. Oh, but you know what? I don't see, I see, I don't see straight lines, I see, I see curved lines, so this is not a polygon. So now that we know what a polygon is, we can take polygons and classify them. Polygons are classified by the number of sides and angles they have. This is a triangle because it has three sides and three angles. This is a quadrilateral because it has four sides and four angles. This is a pentagon because it has five sides and five angles. This is a hexagon because it has six sides and six angles. This is a heptagon because it has seven sides and seven angles. This is an octagon because it has eight sides and eight angles. This is a nonagon because it has nine sides and nine angles. This is a decagon because it has 10 sides and 10 angles. So we're gonna practice. We're gonna take some names out and match them with their shape. The first name I see is a decagon. Hmm. I've heard of a decade before, and a decade has 10 years in it, so that's going to help me remember that a decagon has 10 sides. This one looks like it might have 10 sides, but let's count. Also 10 angles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I see 10 sides, and I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 angles, so this is an a decagon. Heptagon. Ooh, a heptagon has seven sides and seven angles. This one looks like it might have seven sides and seven angles. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven angles. So this is a heptagon. Ooh, a nonagon. A nonagon has nine sides and nine angles. I'm going to count this shape to see if it has nine sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, it does have nine sides. Let's count those angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sides and nine angles make this a nonagon. A hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and six angles. 
This looks like it might have six. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides and one, two, three, four, five, six angles. That is an hexagon. Octagon. You might have heard of an octopus. An octopus has eight legs. Octagons have eight sides and eight angles. I think this might be an octagon. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight sides, so that is an octagon. I didn't count the angles, but let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight angles as well. Pentagon. You might have heard of a famous building in Washington, D.C. called the Pentagon. It's named that because it has eight sides. I'm sorry, five sides. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides and one, two, three, four, five angles. This is a pentagon. Our next shape is a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. One, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four angles. This is a quadrilateral. And this quadrilateral goes by another name, which is square, which you probably have heard before. Our last shape is the triangle. A triangle is a triangle because it has three sides, one, two, three, and three angles, one, two, three. This is a triangle. All right. Now that you know all the shapes and how many sides they have, it's your turn. You're going to take this activity and you're going to sort the shapes into the correct box whether it be a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, or decagon. Have fun!